Well, welcome to the first episode of The Big Bash Show for the inaugural 2011-2012 KFC a Big Bash League season. It is going to be huge. My name is Shura Taft. Of course, there are eight city-based teams from around Australia. There are 31 games over seven weeks starting tomorrow on Friday, December 16th, and culminating in the big final on January 28th. On this show, we're going to be tackling the big issues, going through who's hot and who's not, and involving you guys, the fans at home, along the way. It's going to be a lot of fun. But let's get to our first guest on the show, the star batsman for the Melbourne Renegades, Mr. Brad Hodge. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. Happy to be here. Now the Melbourne Renegades, looking like a great team. How are they shaping up? Shaping up very well. We're obviously excited about you know the new league and uh, the city-based teams. And our team uh, has a couple of superstar Pakistan players in Shahid Afridi and Abdul Razak. And also has two of the fastest bowlers in cricket worldwide in Sean Tate and Dirk Nanes and some superstar batsmen, uh, the likes of Hodge, <laughs> McDonald, Finch, Reardon and of course superstar Maxwell. So we're, we're gearing up for a big season. Now you faced obviously both Nanes and Tate, how quick are they? Oh, they're devastatingly quick. Yeah, oh, look, I'm, I'm delighted that they're on our side so I can watch a few other batsmen get scared along the way. Now who are you looking forward to? Obviously you're going to be playing teams from around Australia, who are you looking forward to putting over the fence? Oh, good question. Uh, I, I definitely think Warney. You know, yeah. I mean, Warney's come on as a superstar um, legend from uh, you know the past, come back for the stars, and obviously his home ground MCG is all his theatre. And it'd be nice for a fellow Victorian to put him over the stands. Be good fun. Okay, one day to go before the first game. Now it is the Brisbane Heat versus the Sydney Sixers at the Sydney Sixers home ground, the SCG. What's the key to victory in this game? Well, definitely the left-handers, I think. Matty Hayden making his return to uh, cricket and he's certainly been training hard. He's a good friend of mine, I've been speaking to him. Yeah. And he's a big key. He's, he's got a great record at the SCG in test matches and a memorable game against the World Eleven, where he got a big hundred. So he'd be fired up for a big return, Matty Hayden. What's his train? Does he go out and have a fish and just get the mind at ease? Or? Uh, I think he has been betting in the nets, but he uh, he certainly geared up for. It. I mean, yeah. he's a superstar and he holds a lot of pride in his in his ability. But he's certainly a big wicket early, and I think I'm not sure if uh, Brendan McCullum and Daniel Vittori are playing in yeah. that match. But obviously, Brendan is a friend of mine as well, and he's a superstar. Hits it a long way. He'd be a person you want to get it out early. I think we'll agree. It's going to be a huge match to kick off the season. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you get to ticketech.com.au to get the tickets. That is at the SCG Friday, December 16. All right, well, the second game in the competition brings a huge name back to the MCG. The Melbourne Stars versus the Sydney Thunder. One man everyone wants to see, Brad Hodge. Chris Gale? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, this is a mouth-watering competition, isn't it? Uh, Shane Warne, superstar Victorian, up, up against the Sydney guys, and it will be an enthralling battle. And uh, Look, it's, it's going to be funny to see whether Cameron brings... Uh, Warney on early. Could he open? Well, I don't think so. Not to Chris Gale and David Warner, especially with the ball spinning into them. But if you don't get Warner and Gale out early, then you know, you're know you going to have to turn to the superstar Warney. And it's going to be a battle which is, uh, everyone's going to be glued to the TV for sure. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if Shane Warne still has that tweak, still has the wrong and still has all those balls. If you want to check it out, it is going to be a huge T20 clash. Make sure you get your tickets from ticketech.com.au. That game is Saturday, December 17th. All right, the next game on the calendar is Brad Hodge having his first game for the Melbourne Renegades, heading over to uh, South Australia to take on the Strikers. Now, uh, how are you feeling for the big game? Excited, of course. Uh, Melbourne Red versus Adelaide Blue. <laughs> it doesn't seem right, yeah. but that's the way it is. But one thing I am super, uh, very excited about is the return of the wild thing to Adelaide Oval, Sean Tate. I mean, I go over there, catch the plane over there, and you're just nervous thinking about Tatey running with that brand new white ball. And I'm sure there'll be a few of his old teammates who are a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, because who knows what he's going to throw up the wild thing. Some could bounce, some don't. And uh, it's fast and it's furious. And we've got another guy named Kieran Pollard who we need to tackle as well. So. It's all, it's all about also Freddy returning. Yeah. It's going to be great the stuff. The big West Indian Pollard, he can hit a few balls over the sticks as well. So it's going to be a huge game. Now that game is on Sunday, December 18. A little bit earlier, it's a 5.30 start, so you'll be ready to go, won't you, Brad? We'll be ready at 5.30 for sure. Okay, tickets from ticketech.com.au. 
Also on Sunday, December 18, is the first match for the Perth Scorchers and the Hobart Hurricanes. Who are we going to be looking out for in this one, Brad? Well, another return of a wrist spin bowler in Brad Hogg mm. playing for the Scorchers. So hopefully he goes well. Old? Yeah, look, everyone who's <laughs> over 40 is trying to come back in this <laughs> league and get a game. But hopefully he does well. He's a great guy and he's, he's had a good record in one day career for Australia. But, you know, the Hurricanes, you know, they're a pretty good, talented side and they've got a couple of good signings uh, down there. But playing away from home, We'll test them for sure. And of course, Ricky Ponting coming out of the test team to play a bit of T20. He'll be looking forward to having a bit of a smash as well. Yeah, he hasn't played for a while at T20. And uh, I was surprised when he actually gave it up because he was actually a superstar at it. Just probably didn't like it as much as what he thought. But he'll come out there and, and whack him around. He's got some form back and it'll be good fun to watch him. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Herschel Gibbs throw the stumps down. That guy can feel with the best <laughs> in the world. It's going to be a massive game. That game is also Sunday, December 18. And remember, it's actually a 6pm start. That's local time. If you want to get tickets to that one, that is ticketmaster.com.au. OK, now with the T20 KFC Big Bash season, it's not just about watching the game. You can also get involved in the fantasy game. And we're going to be having a segment each week about who's hot and who's not. Now, of course, the games haven't started yet, so we can't talk about the players who are hot yet. But we're going to talk about the players who are the valued the most before the season starts. And these are the top three. Brad, it might surprise you, or you might be uh, already knowing this, but Chris Gale is number one. He's the most valued player of the T20 season. How good is Chris Gale? That's not surprising. He's a superstar. Uh, he was devastating in the IPL last season. And uh, he's just the type of guy you don't want to bowl against, and for sure, uh, as an opposition batsman, I love to see him smash mm. him everywhere and it's not surprising at all. He's a superstar and he hits him miles and he's a good bowler as well and a good fielder. Well, that's so. the thing, for, for fantasy season, he might take wickets, he might take catches and he'll put plenty of uh, sixes over the fence, I would have thought. Yep, it's a good buy for sure. Alright, now the second most valued player in the fantasy game is actually his teammate and probably opening companion, David Warner. Well, a little bit surprised about that. Uh, Davey's there or thereabouts. Oh, look, he doesn't bowl. No. And he might be in the test side, Davey, well. the way he's been playing. We're not sure. But um, he's super, certainly a superstar, and he can light up the stadium for sure. And uh, he can hit big balls. But, um, you know, it's, it is a balancing act. So it's a risk when you make a fantasy team. Though, yeah, will, will, will he still vote? Or will Chris Gale steal all the points away from Davey Warren? Very good He'd point. Have to wait Very good point right there. Now, the third most valued side, people might be thinking Brad Hodges. Actually, Shahi Defredi. Not surprised no. at all. I mean, Boom Boom is an absolute superstar. His record in T20 uh, for wickets and economy rate is unbelievable. Best in the world. And also, Boom Boom with his batting, well, you're not quite sure <laughs> exactly what you're going to get. get but what you are going to get is excitement, and he can make 100 off 40 balls if he wants to, or it could be a quick fire 30. But he's certainly, I'm not surprised. He's and he'll a super bowl, he might take some wickets as well. He'll take wickets for sure. Now, uh, not surprising the people out there, this man here, Brad Hodge, you are valued at over 100,000 as well. Will you have a bowl in this competition, do you think? Yeah, I've been told by the captain to uh, get the arm loose and make okay. sure. But 100,000, it's a little bit short, isn't it? Yeah, I'll I know. It's up a little bit higher. <laughs> but there is this guy I would, I would think for the player, for the viewers to look out for, and that's uh, a guy named Maxwell from the Renegades. Okay. He got the fastest 50 in. Uh, Ryby Cup last year, and he's a genuine superstar. Bowls, bats, fields, Melbourne Renegades player, get on him. Now, you have made a fantasy team yourself, have you? Yep, I certainly have. So that's your one tip, Max. So anyone else, any bowlers you want to get on? Ooh. Who's going to take wickets? Look, I think Shahid Afridi. Yep. I think he's a real danger man uh, for us. And also, you think Warney's going to chime in with a few wickets? Warney will take a couple. Of course he will. All right, now if you guys want to get involved, it is a massive competition. You can share in over $20,000 worth of prizes, including $10,000 just for the winner of the fantasy competition. It is going to be huge. There are plenty of players to choose from. You've just got to be smart about where you spend your money. $100,000 on Brad Hodge. Doesn't seem like that much when he's going to be knocking up hundreds like no tomorrow. Anyway, if you want to get involved, it is fantasy.bigbash.com.au. Go and make your team right now and good luck. All right, that's it for our first show of the season. We've got to say a huge thank you to our first guest, Brad Hodge. Good luck with the season. When can the Renegades fans get out there? Yeah, we'll be out there at Etihad Stadium December 22. So we'll be, we'll be jam-packed. Hopefully we've got a win under our belt first up against the Strikers. But get down to Etihad Stadium December 22 and support the mighty Red of the Renegades. Taking on the Scorchers there. Now, from now on, my guest, or oh, my panellist, I should say, on the show is going to be Jesse Hogan, who is the age cricket writer. We're going to be addressing all the big issues. If you guys want to tweet us any questions or anything you want to see on the show, make sure you hashtag Big Bash Show right there. 
And for any other information about the KFC T20 Big Bash season, go to bigbash.com. .au. It's going to be huge. Our next show will be on December 19. That is after the first round of matches. But until then, we'll see you later.